So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. We better find our contact. Albion will lay the boots on Angel when they find out he's dead set. If they aren't already. summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Better be under the radar. I'm a wanted man. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. Not the first government I've seen divvy up people into legal and illegal. This center's a rat's nest, though. Body could disappear in here without a trace. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Yeah, I've dealt with Mary Kelly's kind before. Ruthless. Don't see people. Only profit. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone who comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. I think you were picked up on some random sweep. Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Bagley, shut the fuck up. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Good job. Get the deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just let me out of here. 
procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? Looks like some kind of implant. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. Microchipping people. That's new. So what is it for? Tracking device? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Do it. Let's see if he got away. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! That's it, Angel. Keep fighting. Get fucked up! We don't have a match yet. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van, and out to the incinerator. Well, shit. Yeah, that about confirms the microchip isn't just some tracking device. Seems like it had to be activated. Well, I don't like that Kelly's connected to this, but at least Angel could still be alive. We need to find him. See what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Thank you. 
So this is where Clan Kelly brought Angel. Damn. Looks like the end of the line. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. and access that network, shall we? over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's our move, then. Hold up. Don't come round here and... Uh, uh, uh. Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Perfect. you
Well, get over here. Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. You sure you're all right? It looked like that guy was about to butcher you. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hold on. You're Caitlin Lau, the cop. We found your video logs. You trying to be a hero? Take down Mary Kelly on your own? It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. I wasn't looking for you. Chasing down a contact that went missing out of the EPC. Trail led me here, to where all the other missing persons wound up. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. You've been through hell. Someone from DedSec will come get you, take you somewhere you can rest. I'll keep looking for Angel, and I'll get your files back. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. You better stick around, then. Looks like Mary Kelly has a lot to answer for. I'll make sure she gets her reckoning. <sighs> All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And... Oh. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Ooh. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Well, it's a hard place. Always going to be someone profiting off innocent lives. In bodies, they did a number on the faces. Bagley, can you run a facial reconstruction? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Negative. How many people did Clan Kelly put through this nightmare? We have to stop it. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No kidding.
Not my Archie Bargy. Dead sec. Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Normally, I'd never work with the cops. I mean, <laughs> I pirate movies like nobody's business. But under the circumstances, what choice do we have? Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bagley, call a team meeting. We need to see what's in these files and come up with a game plan. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. Hell yes. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokkovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. We were all naive once. What's your excuse now? The police answered Albion. There's no more doing this by the book. Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, 
But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. Central recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the hell? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. You have a real fucking attitude problem, do you know that? Please, I need help. <laughs> fucking idiot. Do you piss everyone off the way you're pissing me off, you wanker? <laughs> Stupid git! See what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. 
She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team, tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. You're lucky you didn't get chipped. I'd make them kill me if they tried to cuff me like that. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead-end job and sucking off the dough. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this...
kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You all can't, I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to their venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. Fuck's sake. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. So her microchip is the next step in human trafficking. Anyone steps out of line and zap. She can still turn a buck selling their organs. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? So, what do we have, Bagley? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? We got a few options then. I've marked both on your optic. I've found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. <laughs> 